everyone. My name is Gimme Gamma. I'm here today with a simple goal to help you in the world of color and DaVinci Resolve. In today's episode, we are going to go over some troubleshooting of red footage in DaVinci Resolve. What caused the problem and how to fix it. You can see here we have some red footage. Normally red footage is a pleasure to work with, but in today's situation we have a lot of artifacts, particularly in the blue channel. Red footage can be some of the best looking footage out there and has been used on many blockbuster films that you've probably seen. However, we often run into problems where the DP hasn't cleaned the sensor or has the incorrect camera settings while shooting and you never see the problem until you're ready to work with it and filming wrapped weeks ago. In today's example, this looks like the DP hasn't black shaded or calibrated their sensor in a long time and we're left with nasty looking footage. Normally, I would ask the producer if it's possible for them to reshoot the scene, but unfortunately in a lot of cases they cannot do that, so we're stuck trying to fix something that shouldn't have been a problem in the first place. Luckily for you, I have the solution to the problem. The great thing about red footage is that even in post we still have the ability to change some camera settings, even after shooting has ended. We have controls such as ISO, color temp, saturation, exposure, etc, etc. We can change some of the settings to see if we can help fix the footage a little bit, but in our scenario the footage is too bad for these options. So let's set it back to project settings for now. So the first thing we're going to want to do is re-encode this footage using a lossless codec. This is very important because we want to retain as much information within the clip as possible. We are currently working in an ACES color space, and if you're unfamiliar with ACES, it is an absolute game changer. ACES sets the standard for color science across all different types of cameras, so you're getting an even image across clips that were filmed using different cameras. So for the sake of saving this one shot, we're going to temporarily change to DaVinci YRGB. Make sure you don't have any nodes or color changes to the clip as we want it unchanged for the re-encode. So if you have any nodes, delete them. Now on the deliver page, we're going to want to give our clip a name so that we know what it is. In this case, I'm going to call it Red Bagel Noise YRGB. Now for the codec, I'm going to use Apple ProRes 422HQ. Be sure to pick HQ and not the regular because we want a lossless codec so we don't lose any of that precious data. Make sure your frame rate and resolution is the same as your source footage. Let's mark an in and an out point so we only render the clip that we need. OK, add to render queue and render. I've already rendered mine, so we'll just jump back over to the color page. OK, so now that you have your newly rendered YRGB clip, let's import it from the media page and bring it into the timeline. Now that you have it in the timeline, let's switch back over to our ACES color space. You'll see the footage looks like absolute garbage, but not to worry. One more setting and we'll be on our way. Let's right click the clip, go to ACES Input Transform, and since we know it's red footage, we need to scroll down to red, and we'll pick red color 4 gamma 3. Ta-da! Our footage looks great! You can see in the blacks all the blue artifacts are gone, and we are looking great. Now we are free to grade this footage without worry of an uncalibrated sensor. As I stated before, red footage is particularly noisy, so let's put a little bit of chroma noise reduction on here to make it a little bit better. It's important to note that the noise reduction tools are not available in the free version of DaVinci. Only the studio version has this. I would always warn your producer about these issues because there are times that it can be much worse, and we want to avoid these problems in the future. That wraps up today's video, and I hope I was able to teach you something. If you have any questions, feel free to ask down in the comments section so I see them. Giving this video a like is always appreciated, and consider subscribing. And until the next video, have a great day.